What's going on everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk and welcome to the wrap up. And today I'm going to review The Blackening, which is directed by the great Tim Story, who directed movies such as Barbershop and the Fantastic Four that had Jessica Alba, which I thought was the best the, the best Fantastic Four cast, which they and which who they, they should have kept on moving forward with, but you know, that's another that's another story. And this movie, you know, you got some, you got some talents in this movie. You got Grace Byers, Jermaine Fowler, Jay Farrow, and it's about a group of some, of some friends that go to this cabin in the woods, and they are being terrorized by a killer. And this is not your usual type of horror movie. It's, it's a horror comedy movie. And let me tell you something. I mean... This movie, definitely one of the best movies of 23. Dude, it was just so entertaining. It was very, it was very entertaining. And the, like the, it was just some laughs. It, it, it was done by just laughs. And, and also, you know, a good story too, at the same time. And, you know, the cast, you know, the, the cast is, was, was incredible. You know, the majority of the cast is an, is an African-American cast. And everybody did good. I mean, there are some, you got some faces that I, that, that I haven't, haven't seen before that are in the movie, and they did a good job. I mean, like, the jokes that they made was good, and the storyline is good, and I really did, I really did, did enjoy the movie, and, you know, it, it kind of, I'm trying to think what type of horror comedy would I want to compare it to. I mean, I almost want to compare it to Scary Movie, but you can't really compare it to Scary Movie because... You know, they're making fun of, of other horror movies. And in The Blackening, they don't do that. And I saw this movie on Juneteenth. And I felt like this was, a, this was the perfect Juneteenth movie to watch. It's definitely a good holiday movie. And not to spoil anything, because that's not what I do. But, you know, you do see some little... But there are, like, some, some mentions about, about Juneteenth in the movie. And I'm like, okay, yeah, so... Perfect timing, a good a good holiday movie to watch. And there is a few surprises in the movie. You know, there is a little twist, you know, towards the end. But, you know, I'm not going to mention that. You know, I got to wait for you. You guys got to wait for you guys to see it. So you guys can see, can, can see what the little twist is. But, man, if you are a fan of horror comedies, then, yeah, you are definitely going to... You're definitely going to enjoy this movie. And the idea that... The idea, you know, of this movie was just so creative, and and like and like I said, some of these new faces that I've never seen before, just a great job acting, and I mean, even from even from from the known faces that I know, like Grace Byers, Jermaine Fowler, and Jay Farrell, they did a good job with the acting, and the action scenes was good too, really did, you know, it was really enjoyable, and. You no, know, just and like the jokes that they make, oh man, they there are some jokes that you just probably wouldn't even have have thought of, like that would make sense, and the jokes do make sense. And I'm not going to lie, when I first saw when I first saw the previews of this movie, I thought it was going to be kind of goofy and stupid and stuff, but I'm happy that I did go see it. You know, def like I said, it's definitely one of the best movies of 23. Almost want to go see it again. That's how much I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I mean, if you're, like I said, you're a fan of the horror comedies, then I really think you will enjoy this because it is a, it's a fun ride for the whole family. And, and, it, and, it's, and the majority of it is entertaining from, from start to finish. I mean, because, you know, because of course in the beginning, you know, it, it got to pick up and stuff and everything, but still, still entertaining from start to finish. And just the ideas that they have for this movie was just, wow, man, yes. Happy that this movie got made too. It's I could definitely see it making some money in the box office. And when reading the reviews before I went to go see it, it did get some good reviews. And I can see why. Because yeah, it was it was a good movie. And I mean I enjoyed it more than I did. I enjoyed it more than I did than I did the Boogeyman, since you want since you want to talk about horror movies. And yeah, that was that was good. So, and then I'm trying to think what else to really say. Just another good movie from Tim Story. Another good movie, another, you know, another good one from him. Good job, Tim Story. Did a great job directing. 
and yeah, I mean, I can't even, I still cannot think of nothing, nothing bad I'd say I didn't like about this movie. And if they even make a sequel, I will definitely check it out. You know, because I think it would, I think, I think a sequel would be good, just as long as they have a good storyline to it. So, for the Blackening's grade, I give it an A. And out of five stars, I give it three out of five stars. And should you go wait to the red box or for the stream, or should you go to the movies and see it? Go see this movie ASAP. Definitely entertaining and definitely fun. If you're a fan of comedies too, then yes, you're going to get a good laugh out of it. So until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. And if you want to see more views from me, yeah, hit that subscribe button to see more views from me. Hit the like button if you did like this video and comment below if you've seen the movie or or comment below and thought about this review too as well.